Hello everyone, this is an experiment to investigate the charging of a capacitor and uh, the discharge of a capacitor through a resistor. Now the value of the resistor here is uh, 1k and the value of the capacitance is 200 microfarad. You can always change the value of the resistor and that determines how long it takes to charge the uh, capacitor uh, the, yeah the capacitor so you can change both here and uh, the product of the resistance and then the capacitance gives you the time constants and how that determines how long it takes to charge the capacitor now uh, i've got this switches here s1 and s2 the s1 here is would only be used to discharge the capacitor quickly that is when I do that, I, I, I make a short circuit there to discharge the capacitor. And it's always very good, practically and physically, if you take any capacitor to work with. Make sure it's discharged before you touch the, uh, the terminals. And this is what you do. You connect, let's say, um, a screwdriver also across the uh, leads of the capacitor just to discharge it. Now I've got also this switch here, which divides the entire charging circuit into two. That is charging when I bring it to the top here, and discharging when I leave it as it is here, so that the capacitor will discharge through the resistor. Okay, now let's look at this from here. What I will always want you to do, uh, if it, you've been asked to, let's say, plot a graph of charging and discharging of a capacitor, then you should have a table with this column headers here. As I've put time, time in seconds, or it could be in minutes, but uh, uh, seconds is best. Time in seconds, the capacitor voltage, oh, that is the voltage registered across the capacitor. At each, uh, at each time interval and then the voltage across the resistor also at each time interval the current uh, through the circuit and then the power so this is what you have to do and uh, I can quickly show you how you can get your uh, resistor uh, voltage across the resistor so that's going to be equal to the source voltage minus the voltage registered across the uh, capacitor here and what you have to do is just make it absolute the voltage across so the source voltage so that you can copy it down by using the dollar sign and it will be easy to copy down it's showing 12 12 12 because there isn't anything here if i put for example 11 here it's it's going to change that one here okay so that is what you have to do and you can also use formula here for that at the end of it you plot a graph of voltage against time and see how the careful would look like now i also talked about the short circuit which i use the s to the switch number two this is what i mean can you see the um, capacitor here and maximum voltage it can store on the plates that's 450 so this is quite dangerous and it can give you a, <clears throat> a nasty shock so what you do is just to place a, a what is it called a, a screwdriver with the blades on here to discharge it before you hold this or you touch the leads here or use it in your circuit now after the charging you also have to plot a graph for discharging of the capacitor again you need this column headers here to do that and for example let's say that at the end of the charging if the capacitor stores 99 sorry 11.999 volts on the charges then that will be the charge uh, the charge stored on the capacitor so at the time zero that will be the charge on the capacitor and you can also get a current when you do you can get a current which is the charge the voltage stored on the capacitor divided by the voltage stored on the capacitor divided by the resistance in the circuit there 
and uh, again you can also make the resistance here absolute if you want to by using the dollar sign here so that it, life will be easier for you and you can copy it across down it's showing zero 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 because there isn't any reading here if i put for example 10.4 here then it's going to give you the current across that and in the end again you have to plot the graph of uh, voltage across uh, vo uh, sorry, yeah, voltage across the capacitor versus time okay so now let's go back to the uh, main <coughs> circuit here so we are going to simulate it but i would love our simulation to have both the schematic and then the graph here so just before we do that let me just put that one here okay and what i'm going to do is if i click in here i can have the opportunity to manipulate my voltage and the time so i'm going to turn the switch here and always before you do that make sure your s2 here is switched off so i'm going to turn it on here and uh, start the simulation but before that please always make sure you have a timer just use timer okay so that you'll be uh, you know checking the time and reading the voltage across the capacitor so just always make sure you have your timer now let's switch it on here and let's start watching the voltage on the capacitor here so as it is um it's just charged suddenly and this is why you may have to use a bigger resistor here and uh, just charge suddenly so you may have to always use a bigger resistor so that the time the time could be managed you can manage the time and do your readings so let's see I want us to see the timing, sorry, the curve. I wanted to see the curve, how the curve looks like. So this is how the careful look like. This is how the careful look like. Okay. And uh, we can again bring it down. So the careful look something like that. Careful look something like that. Careful look something like that here. And then uh, at the end, you go on there and plot your graph now as it is charged you have read the voltage and it's charged you can now start discharging by taking the thing here and just look at it here as it is discharging So uh, when it was charging, it took this curve. It took that curve. And when it's discharging, at the time zero here, it started discharging and it took this curve here. Now let's check how much voltage is registered on here. So it's almost zero, 24. Pico, pico, uh, pico volts and which is uh, pico is not point no 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 it's 10 to the power minus 12 so the charging is done 
Now at the end of it, uh, you have you may have to read your values and put them here and do your graph and so on. So you will definitely get a circuit like this for the charging and get a circuit like that for the discharging. And just like I, I, I said, you, you have to manipulate this. For example, you can do this to about 10 uh, you can what you can do here is make sure maybe this you use like uh, 10 kilovolts 30 kilo ohms and maybe 500 uh, micro farad here so that the time span will increase and then that will give you enough time to do your timings thank you very much for watching